In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use one layer to mask or reveal parts of another layer. And in this specific case, I'm demonstrating with a uh, ship that I've modeled for a game that I'm working on. And I want to put on some bullet holes and other little details like that. It can be used in other cases too, such as uh, peeling paint, uh, cuts and abrasions where you have blood or bones or uh, things like that underneath or even on a, a zombie where you have like huge chunks of flesh just coming off from from the decay and underneath you have gory gory things so it can be used in a multitude of ways um, so let's get to work here uh, to start I've already got a few layers I've got the cutaway reveal layer which is the one we'll be using to mask or reveal other layers and then I've got another layer which I'll be using for bump and or displacement or in this case a normal map specifically and then I've got another one specifically for color as well you can separate these out or do them on their own layer I personally like to do them on their own layers that way you can do unique things on each layer without having to worry about deleting layers and so on and it can get a little tricky so uh, best to just keep them on their own layers, I personally think. Right, so there are also a couple other layers, and I zoom in here to this area. We're going to put on a couple of bullet holes or something right here, and uh, maybe some rust or something. Um, so I've got this undercoat layer, which has that bluish green gray, green -gray color there, rather. And uh, let's hide it real quick just to make sure. Sure enough, that's the correct layer. And um, so let's link it up. And you'll need the layer blending panel open. If you don't have it open already, it's under Windows, Pop-Ups. And there it is, Layer Blending, or Alt-B hotkey on your keyboard. We'll also bring it up. So with the undercoat layer selected on the Layer Blending tab, go to Linked Layer. And in the drop down list, I'm going to select the cutaway reveal layer. And by default, wherever there is any color painted, that is the area that will be revealed. So let's demonstrate that real quick. On the cutaway layer, and make sure I hide the spec and depth. And you'll see it looks like I'm painting. Um, in fact, I, I am painting, and I don't want to paint in color. The reason being is that. If you have anything underneath those layers, just like before, without linking layers or in Photoshop, it will hue the color underneath. So I, mean, I like to use a white or some kind of grayscale. Now you can see it looks a little different. You can see the white area around the green, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, what we're going to do on this layer is actually turn the opacity down so we can't see the color at all. And so now all we're seeing is the revealed area of the undercoat layer. But this isn't exactly what we want. We want to paint areas to hide them, not to reveal them. So back to the layer blending tab, we turn on inverse linkage. And that will, as it is kind of describing, uh, invert it. But of course, we want to do that on the correct layer. So go back to the undercoat layer and then hit inverse linkage. And now, we're painting where we want to reveal things, or hide them, I should say, for that particular layer. And uh, back to the cutaway reveal, and you can see we can sit here and paint, or we can erase thing right back. So that's how we'll be doing this. All right, let's go ahead and paint in with the paint tool. I've got a couple of decent rust brushes that we can use, and uh, Make sure we're in the cutaway reveal layer again. And we'll just paint in a few areas like that. And we'll use the uh, drag circle, turn that around like that. Yeah. Okay, we'll change brush and select another rust. And. Let's use one of these sponge ones. Cross hashed 
uh, sponge and put in some big lines like it's been scratched. And now we'll go in and manually paint her stuff here. Uh, make sure the color opacity is down. We'll go down to 50% see so how that looks. That's still too much. Let's go 25%. That's better. Okay, and now we'll just go in and put in a big scratch going this general direction. We're going to erase things too, of course. Alright, that should do it. And let's grab one of these bullet hole brushes. And I'm going to use the drag stamp again. Oops, that's too low for that. I, I want to have the opacity back at 100. Uh, we'll put it over here instead. Yep, we'll put in a couple of bullet holes. Okay, there we go. So we've got something interesting going on. And uh, let's give it a little more variety and use the drag stamp with the eraser tool. Try to change my folder here. Let's select one of those rust, rust brushes there. And wow, the uh, eraser transparency is a little high. Let's go down to 20%. And we'll just... Uh, drag that out. I'm going to hide that. It's annoying. So we'll just click and drag a few spots to give it a little more variety. And kind of hide it a little more toward the end here. Okay, that looks good in my book. So now that we've done that cutaway reveal there, the mask, we're going to go in and put in some bump. Okay, and I'm going to do that on the revealed rust bump displacement layer. Let's hide. Oh, first let's activate the brush tool and then get rid of the color and turn on displacement. I found that about 5 to 10 percent should be good enough for this. I'm going to be using one of these rust brushes again. And that's going to give us a little more uh, interesting look with a bump as well. And I'm going to just go in and hand sculpt this. And I'm just going to click and dab in these few spots. Um, let's go ahead and turn on rotate along strokes and turn the depth down to about 2%. I actually drew a, a stroke in here. In a few spaces, something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to get. I'm not going to hold control, so it's going to pull out areas instead of indent them. Okay, pretty good, right? Uh, it does. Okay, uh, but you'll notice, of course, that it's all over the place, and uh, we only want that in the areas where the paint has been scratched off, as we did with the undercoat layer. So what we need to do is link that again to the cutaway reveal layer. So with that reveal rust bump displacement layer, go to the layer blending tab again and link it to the cutaway reveal. And this one we don't want to invert because the areas where we have painted by default are going to be shown. So you can see the results there now that we've got uh, just a bump being revealed here. And we can go in and finesse it as much as we want. depth in those bullet holes there. Things have been shot. Crying out loud. It's going to be a little deeper, I think. Right, that looks cool. Okay, that's good enough. And uh, now we need to put in some color. So, to the, the other layer here that we'll be painting in, let's select a different color. And uh, we'll be using a rust color, so kind of orange-brown in there and right about there should do it and let's make sure we turn the opacity down we'll go about 20 percent with this as well turn off displacement or depth painting back on with color and let's double check everything here so we're on the right layer so we should be good let's go ahead and um, just 
paint this in. And you'll see by default, since this layer is underneath the undercoat layer, it's already being revealed. So you don't have to do anything fancy with the linking unless you want to, of course. Or if the layer were of the undercoat layer, then you would need to link it to this cutaway reveal layer. But since you said, it will just be displayed anyway. So we'll just go ahead and paint in a few spots. And uh, maybe a little over there on those scratch marks. Certainly some of these bullet holes. And uh, we'll call that good. Okay. Another thing we can do is after the fact, we can go into the cutaway reveal layer, go back to the white, and now we can go in and brush some extra areas out where we uh, maybe just want some paint to show. I'm going to use a hard edge for this one. a little bigger. Um, let's change our brush here. Let's use that crazy crosshatch sponge. Okay. And uh, ah, the opacity is a little low. Let's go about 40%. There we go. So just put in a few other areas. Yeah, something like that. And then of course the eraser. And erase those areas if we want to. There. Okay, something like that. You get the idea. So that's how you do it. You simply link layers in the layer blending tab. You can use it to mask things, reveal things. And you could use it for anything, like I mentioned before, on characters, ships, doesn't really matter what it is that you're painting. If you've got something you want to hide and or mask or reveal and so on, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.